Hello and welcome to this video of machine learning do it yourself tutorials. In this video we're going to talk about data frames. Data frames are very important concept and it's been used very frequently across the R platform and that's why we're going to focus more here. Data frame think about Excel spreadsheets or a database with rows and columns, but it's different from matrices because matrices can have only the same data type. Data frames can be collection of both strings, numbers, booleans, whatever. Like it's a collection of any data type elements in form of rows and columns. It can also be a list of vectors or factors. So there is a keyword string as factors equals to false or true. So if you if you don't mention or specify while creating strings as factors, R is gonna automatically convert all the character vectors into factor. That means a vector with a string would be converted to factors it's gonna categorize. And we don't want to do that. So we would mention string as factors equals false and we are going to now see the syntax. Syntax. My data frame is going to be the variable. Data frame is the keyword. Produce, inventory, produce type and refill are vectors and factors. And at the very end, we would say strings as factors keyword equals false, which, which implies that the string vector produce will not be converted to a factor. Let's do that hands on now. So my data frame is now created. And let's see my data frame. It looks like database rows and columns or an Excel rows and columns. Now you can do this. This is going to list only produce. Inventory. produce type. So you can see how you can create a data frame. Now let's go in detail. So we saw how to list only one single column. Now this is going to list only produce and inventory. Let's do that. lists out produce and inventory. This would show column two and four. This command would show you the section of matrix cell one and two. What it means is row number one, column number two, it shows the cell value. So row number one, column number two is eight. This shows first and second rows for columns two and four. So rows, comma, columns, first and second, comma, columns, second and four. Repeat, rows, comma, columns, within rows, first and second, columns, second and four. Let's do that. 
So first and second rows, first and second rows, columns two and four. Eight true, four true. So the first column is produced, it shows all the records for the first column. And this shows all the rows and the columns, which is equivalent to not to, you know, mention about the brackets, which is equivalent to, let's do the hands-on. So this is hands-on exercise number five for machine learning data frames. Create a data frame my df underscore test with all the customer vectors and factors created in two and three videos. Exercise hands-on number two and three. Display these data frame features. Try and search, do some research on data frames. And the next video, we're going to talk about frequently used R commands. Thank you for watching.